He is alive. He has uh, been transported, airlifted to safety. But uh, here's an individual who has uh, spent decades uh, speaking truth to power, someone who's been out there um, unafraid, despite the threats that have followed him his entire adult life, it seems. Like I said, it's very early. We don't have any indication of a motive at this time, but we are working with the FBI, the Sheriff's Office, and we will determine um, what the cause of this was or what the motive for this attack was. Streaming live from downtown Buffalo, this is 7 News. I mean, we were just so stunned. This, you know, you can say it doesn't happen here. It doesn't happen a lot of places. But this is such an unusual location for someone to be attacked on stage. A presentation by one of the world's most prominent authors interrupted by violence at a cultural and educational center in Chautauqua County. Witnesses describing to 7 News the chaos and confusion following the attack on Salman Rushdie. Good evening once again. That attack unfolding before Rushdie even began his speech this morning at the Chautauqua Institution. And several new details just in tonight from state police. Salman Rushdie undergoing surgery right now for stab wounds to his neck. The suspect now identified as 24-year-old Hadi Matar from New Jersey. We are working with the DA's office. We are in the process of obtaining search warrants for uh, various items. There was a backpack located at the, at the scene. There was also electronic devices. So we're working with the DA's office to, uh, to uh, obtain search warrants and further the investigation. At this point, uh, we're assuming he was alone, but we can't, you know, we're, we're looking to make sure that that was the case. State police say Rushdie is being treated at a hospital in Erie, Pennsylvania tonight. Also injured the attack, the event moderator, Henry Reese, who suffered minor head wounds. Now this is video from the audience. In the moments immediately following the attack, you can see the suspect being led away from the stage. State police say the trooper assigned to the event was able to take the man into custody shortly after he stormed the event. Those in attendance in the audience then ushered to leave the auditorium. Witnesses say the attack lasted roughly 20 seconds this morning. Now, the institution, located roughly 70 miles south of Buffalo, says it has canceled its programs for the rest of the day. Its staff now working with local and state authorities to find out what led up to this attack. 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley joins us live from Jamestown tonight outside the police barracks where the suspect in today's attack is Jeff, being held. Jeff, that suspect is in custody right here at the state police barracks that is behind me in Jamestown. Now, I attended that news conference last hour with state police, and again, that is where they identified the suspect as 24-year-old Hadi Matar of Fairview, New Jersey. Now, earlier today, I spent time outside of the Chautauqua Institution and those who witnessed the horrifying attack say they are extremely shocked that it would happen in the Chautauqua community. The Chautauqua Institution, of course, is a place of serenity and enrichment for people to go to. One person even described it as a sanctuary. And now today, the stage was turned into a crime scene. It was... It was surreal. I couldn't believe it was happening. In a quick blink of the eye, the audience watched a horrific scene unfold in seconds. Just as the iconic author Selman Rushdie was sitting on the stage being introduced when the suspect rushed the stage and stabbed him. And my wife was next to me. She started screaming and I looked up and I saw this man running on the stage. And it, it looked like he was, he went right to Rushdie and was, looked like he was beating him. And I couldn't tell whether he had a, a knife in his hand or not. Then the amphitheater goes nuts. People are screaming. We can see him like stabbing. Now, we understand he's been stabbed now. We're punching. We couldn't tell if he had a knife at the time. David Johnson, a television anchor from Pittsburgh, says he's been going to the Chautauqua Institution for more than 30 years and was shocked. Rushdie had a death threat against him for more than 30 years, but witnesses say it did not appear that they had any special security surrounding him. You know, the guy has a price on his head from 1989 and a of all the places he might be attacked or hurt or, God forbid, die, Chautauqua would be the last place I would think of. I kind of expected it to be fairly tight. 
uh, but it was not, maybe there was more than I saw, but it was not apparent. This man was able to get on the stage. and The suspect was quickly detained. Witnesses say at least 10 people were on him within seconds. State police tell me Rushdie was airlifted to Hammett Medical Center in Erie. It was a stab wound to his neck. There was a lot of blood and he did not look good. Now, there is still no word on the 75-year-old Rushdie's condition. We were told last hour he was still in surgery. Police also told us that he was stabbed at least once in the neck and once in the abdomen. Now, there is still no motive in this case. Again, the suspect being held right here inside this police barracks, the state police barracks in Jamestown, and there is no word yet on what the charges will be. Live in Jamestown, Eileen Buckley, 7 News. All right, thank you, Eileen. We also know that World News Tonight will be live from Chautauqua County tonight right here on 7ABC. Some people ran to the stage, others sat in shock. Instead of seeing Salman Rushdie deliver a lecture as planned, they unwittingly watched him get stabbed in the neck and stomach. He was stabbed about six to eight times before they were able to grab a hold of the perpetrator. People nearby tackled the suspect, then helped police take him into custody. Those attending to Rushdie raising his legs to redirect blood flow. Just devastated at seeing this happen to someone I respect. The 75-year-old was taken away on a stretcher and airlifted to hospital for emergency surgery. The man arrested identified as 24-year-old Hadi Matar from New Jersey. Like I said, it's very early. We don't have any indication of a motive at this time. An acclaimed author with a target on his back, Rushdie faced death threats and lived under police protection for years. Ever since his novel, The Satanic Verses, in the late 80s enraged some Muslims who considered it blasphemous. Iran's then Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei issued a decree calling for Rushdie's killing and a $3 million bounty soon followed. Decades later, Rushdie wondered whether such a book would still find a publisher. The violence of the of the assault that publishers and booksellers faced in those years scared people, you know, and, and I think it, that, that fear is still there. In much of the world, he's celebrated as a champion for freedom of expression, including on a visit to Toronto in 2017, where novelist Randy Boyagoda remembers Rushdie didn't want security guards. He wanted to demonstrate um, really to the world that he was carrying on with his life and his work as a novelist foremost. In the apparent calm of Western New York, Rushdie was set to speak about writers facing persecution. Instead came a reminder, he's still a target himself. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto. Much of the Islamic world remains in turmoil this morning over a book few Muslims have ever read. It's called The Satanic Verses, and several powerful Islamic leaders, including Ayatollah Khomeini, have sentenced author Salman Rushdie to death for blasphemy. The last thing before we go tonight, a horrific attack. Famed author Salman Rushdie was stabbed on stage in Western New York early this morning. Rushdie famously spent years in hiding and under police protection after an Iranian leader called for his execution. NBC's Andrea Mitchell has more. It was a scene of chaos, a shocking attack at a nearly 150-year-old artist retreat in upstate New York. With the amphitheater, the presenter was just attacked on the stage on EDMF. Author Salman Rushdie stabbed on stage right before he was to give a lecture. Police say the suspect, now in custody, is 24-year-old Hadi Matar, that he rushed on stage, attacking Rushdie and his interviewer. Police saying Rushdie suffered stab wounds to his neck and abdomen. Really, we don't have any indication of a motive at this time. An anchor from our Pittsburgh NBC station, WPXI, an eyewitness. This guy rushes the stage and grabs him and starts either punching or stabbing him. Rabbi Charles Savinar was in the audience and took this video after the attack. All I remember seeing at that time was the assailant's arm going up and down, up and down. Um, it looked like Mr. Rushdie, who began on the chair, ended up on the floor. 
Rushdie has lived with risk to his life ever since a fatwa or decree in 1989 by then Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Khomeini that called for his murder. Rushdie's novel, The Satanic Verses, was banned in Iran, deemed blasphemous by the religious fundamentalists. He talked about the threat with NBC's Kate Snow in 2020. You had to hide for, what, a decade? I've always thought that the word hiding is very inexact because one of the things anyone who's ever being surrounded by maximum security knows is that it's unbelievably visible. Years ago, Iran's government distanced itself from the fatwa, but threats to Rushdie continued. After being airlifted to a hospital, Rushdie was undergoing surgery. In an email to The New York Times this evening, Mr. Rushdie's agent said the author has suffered serious injuries and he is currently on a ventilator and unable to speak. NBC will continue to update you on his condition throughout the weekend. And tonight, he is in our prayers. He came to give a lecture about freedom of expression in the United States, but left on a stretcher, headed to hospital and emergency surgery. Police say the celebrated author Salman Rushdie was stabbed in the neck and the abdomen. Witnesses say it happened quickly. He had just walked onto the stage, was still being introduced less than a minute before the event began after the event began and a man uh, rushed from this audience up onto the stage uh, and started punching or stabbing it wasn't quite clear but there was clearly some sort of blood or red liquid going in many directions uh, a collective sigh of shock from the audience we have a paramedic here rushdie's alleged assailant was quickly taken into police custody and the attack decried by local leaders we are undeterred in our commitment to make sure that we call it out, we condemn what happened, we condemn all violence, and we want people to feel that freedom to speak and to write truth. Salman Rushdie was forced into hiding in 1989 after his book, The Satanic Verses, was denounced by the Iranian leader, Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini. Many considered the book blasphemous in its portrayal of the prophet Muhammad. But even before Khomeini's ruling, it had sparked protest and been banned in several countries. A bounty of $3 million was offered to anyone that would kill the British author. But even as Rushdie was being burned in effigy, he was celebrated in the West and later knighted by Great Britain. Many in the Muslim world did not believe that it amounted to an act of blasphemy, nor indeed did many in the Muslim world believe that he deserved to die for it. But those voices of moderation and indeed uh, those voices of, of, of a more, a more secular uh, dispensation were crushed. More recently, Rushdie could often be seen at public events. The lecture was expected to focus on the role of the United States as a home for free expression and an asylum for writers and other artists in exile. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.